Silence Homebrew coming at you with a beer review from Smoky. Our state is burning down Oregon. That's right. <laughs> the last I heard about 10% of our population has had to uh, evacuate their homes. So it's kind of crazy here. So we're going to celebrate with an Oregon beer, right? You know, <laughs> one that goes good with smoke. So I picked this one up today. Here it is. It's a barrel aged Trade Wars. Barrel aged Trade Wars from Bend Brewing Company. It's an export stout. And of course, they're out of Bend, Oregon. Uh, this is not just anybody's regular old export stout, though. This is 8.5% ABV. I think they made it for the first time last year in 2019, where it's 7.5. So they bumped it up a bit. So I'd call this an Imperial Export Stout, but it does sound right up my alley, that's for sure. So let's get it cracked open. Oh, that looks nice. Feels like I haven't done a beer review in forever. Take a look at that head. That dark mocha head on there. That's just a beaut, isn't it? It's dark. It almost felt like I was pouring as if there are a few red hues in there, which makes me wonder a little bit about what all malts are in that. Let's get a nose. Oh, that's lovely. It's going to warm up. I'm going to get more aromas off it as we go. But right off the top, you get some nice roastiness. And, uh, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, I got like a red berry quality coming off of it. Yeah, that's really something. It's kind of like a, I want to say like a raspberry type of quality or what most of you probably wouldn't know, but like a, what we call thimble berries here in Oregon. Um, but it really has that red berry type quality going on. You, you get some of the barrel age quality on it. Uh, uh, I don't know what kind of barrels they were, quite frankly. Um, and um, it's got, it has kind of a creamy texture. So you're getting the roast. You're getting a bit of chocolate on there as well. And I'd say a, a light woody quality to it also. But it, it smells delightful. I really do love export stouts. And they bring that a little bit, usually more roasty quality, uh, as well as because you got a little bit higher level of hops on it for export purposes. This is 31 IBUs, so they're kind of fun. Let's, let's dig in. Cheers. Oh, oh, that's really fun. I'm digging on it. <laughs> it's go okay, it's going through a few iterations, that's for sure. It has that export stout type taste. That it does have. But it's got so much bonus to it. I'm still getting that red berry quality, which is nice. It's someplace between a raspberry and almost like a, a slight vinousness to it as well. That's kind of a hoot. And you're definitely getting some of that barrel quality off of it. I wonder if it's just oak barrels. I get a little bit of tannins coming across on it as I taste it. No question that you get some nice chocolate quality. And a little bit of a char quality. So it's like a, it makes the chocolate come off as like a deep, dark roast. Uh, uh, like in a dark chocolate type thing. And... It's a little bit on the dry side, which is real common for those export stouts. So it'll make you think a little bit of like a baker's chocolate or a cocoa powder. More towards the baker's chocolate from my mind. Uh, wow, just super tasty. Getting some vanilla. And like I said, that woody oak. This is interesting. I'm going to take a little time with this. Well, so this is super tasty. I mean, being more of an imperial uh, export stout. Um, <laughs> it's so hitting my wheelhouse and um, it, it really does have that uh, like I said like that dry chocolate type quality you know baker's chocolate to a, a dry chocolate powder and uh, and that higher bitterness at 31 percent really works in terms of the export style style but you're still getting that quality I almost feel like I'm getting like a dark cherry now as well as like kind of like that raspberry um, it, it, it's it's light but that berry quality that red berry quality is absolutely in the beer um, and it's got a light creaminess to it uh, as far as the texture goes and like I say a little bit of those tannins but it all balances out really nice
Well, this is a winner in terms of an export stout to me. Um, of course, there is the cheat with the barrel aging. <laughs> and then bumping that sucker up to 8.5. If you like big beers, you'd be digging on this one. No question about it. So in terms of export stouts, I've got to rank this really high. I mean, this is an incredible little beer. I'm going to give this a 95 for export stouts. Now, overall, it gets back to my preference. And because I do dig on export stouts, and of course, I like beer aged and big beers, this is just firing on all cylinders. There's certainly other things I'm going to love more uh, that might have more layers and so forth. But this is a great beer. I am really liking it. So for me, this is a 93 overall. So here it is again. It is the Barrel Age Trade Wars from Bend Brewing Company. That's right, the big export stout at 8.5. I'd say, boy, if you can get this one, grab it. This is a fantastic year for this beer and a great beer for the brewery. This is Kevin Clemens Homebrew saying, Life's too short to drink cheap beer. And I'll see you in the next beer review.